So we were able to create a quiz. Now it's time to fetch that quiz. So when we create the quiz, the data goes into our database, right? So we have created two extra tables. So we already had a question table. Now we created a quiz table and then we created a table where we can have all the questions for a particular quiz. Just to show you that, what I can do is I can go to my PG admin. You can see we got this table here, which is quiz and uh, quiz questions. And if I open quiz here, we can see we have uh, different columns. We have ID and title. And then in the quiz questions, we have uh, two columns. One is quiz ID, second is quiz questions. Okay, so basically in this, every quiz will have multiple questions. That's what we are saying here, right? But now what I want to do is I want to basically fetch this question. So let's say as a normal user, if I want to attempt a particular quiz, how do I fetch the quiz? So I can mention a quiz ID and then I will get all the questions. That's what we want to achieve here. To do that, what I will do is I will go back to my IntelliJ and here let's create a method. So basically we have to do that in a controller. Now what type of request I want to send? So of course it will be for quiz. Instead of create, we can say get, right? And we have to also pass the ID. Uh, so example, if I go to my postman, this, this was for creation of a quiz, right? Which we have already done. So now this time, instead of creating a quiz, we will say get the quiz. So quiz slash get, and I can specify the ID of the quiz. One, two, three, four. Of course, when you have a good UI, you can basically see all the quiz title and the, the, you can select one. At this point, we don't have a UI. So let's get used to the numbers here. And this will be a get request. So if I click on send, Okay, it says 404 at this point, but we want to make it work. We want to return the data. So what I will do is I will go back to my IntelliJ and let's create this method. So I will say public, it will say response entity because that's what we are going to use now. And this will return the list of questions, right? List of questions. And we'll say this is get, okay, we have to import for list as well. I can say get quiz questions and basically we have to also pass the ID, right? So whatever ID you're receiving from our client side, we basically have to use it. So I will say this is get mapping and I can say this is for the get. So for the get request, but also we'll specify the ID as well, right? And that is go going into the curly brackets because uh, the ID may change in future. Someone wants to fetch the ID one, two, three, four, doesn't matter. So here, uh, since I'm using a variable, we have to use path variable. And then this should be of type integer ID. So of course, uh, whatever data you will receive here will be stored in this ID now. And then based on that, we have to fetch the quiz. Now here's a twist. The twist is when you say you are fetching the questions of a quiz, the problem is on the client side, you are sending questions that perfectly make sense. A question will have a question title. A question will have options. A question will also have the right answer. Because if you see the question model or question class here, it also has a right answer. I don't want to send this to the client. That is risky, right? So what we have to do is we cannot send that. So let's create a wrapper of this question, which will only have, I mean, which will have all the columns except the answer. And the way you can do that is by creating a new class and we'll name this as a question wrapper. And then uh, we just need to put few variables which we have in question. So what I can do is I can just go back to question and I want private ID, I want this, I want this, this. Okay, I think this number of things are enough. We don't need right answer. We don't even need difficulty level because we are fetching the questions, right? Uh, so we don't need that. And also we don't need category. So what I can do is I can simply go back to question wrapper and paste this here. And since I want to use Lombok so that I can, I don't have to define the getter setters. And also I need a parameterized constructor. So we can use Lombok or let me just generate quickly here. Generate a constructor which will take all these parameters. Now the advantage of this particular class is if you go back to your quiz controller, okay, I don't need this one. No, I don't need question. So if you go back to your quiz controller here, we are not returning the question class. We are basically returning the list of questions, which are question wrapper, which will have questions and options, but not the uh, answers. And now basically, how will you get the question? Of course, it's the job of my quiz service to give me the questions. I will say get quiz questions and I can pass this ID, whatever ID, the quiz ID I have. Okay, we don't have that uh, method there. So I will say return because return is missing. 
Okay, so let's create this method. So I will just click here and create a method in the quiz. But what will be the logic? Now it's it's actually very simple. We just need to fetch the quiz object from the database. I think our job will be done. And how do you do that? So of course we do have the quiz DAO, right? So let's use the quiz DAO. And if you can see the quiz DAO will ask you for, if you want to get, uh, you have to say find by ID. And the ID here is ID itself. And that's it. It will give you the quiz, right? So let's store that in a quiz object. So I will say quiz, quiz. Okay, there is some problem here. It says this find by ID might not return any data, right? Of course, if you have a quiz ID, which is there in the database, it will return data. But what if you are mentioning a quiz ID, which is not there? In that case, it will throw a null error, right? Or null, we have to basically handle the null values. And that's where we got a new feature called optional. So we can say this is optional data. The data might come or not, I'm not sure. So let's say optional. Okay, so what exactly we're going to do here? We will get the quiz. With the quiz, we'll get the questions, right? Because now the quiz object actually has the questions. But then we have to convert those questions into question wrapper. Remember, we are not returning questions, we are returning question wrapper. So how will you do that? So first of all, let me get hold on the quiz questions. So I can say list of question. I can say questions from DB. And this will get, I will get from quiz. So I will say quiz dot get. So when you use optional, we have to first get the object and then you can say get questions. So get questions will give you these questions, right? So now we got the question from database, but we can't return it. Example, if I say, I want to return this data now, we can't because the wrapper, the list is of question wrapper, not of questions. So we have to manually convert each question into a question wrapper. So we can use a loop here. So let me create that object of question wrapper here. So list of question wrapper, I will say questions for users. Now basically, this is questions from database which we got and what we want to return is questions for user and we'll say new add a list. So we got an empty list here and we just have to add data. So what I will do is I will just return so that I will not get any error response entity. Ultimately we have to return the questions for user right and the HTTP status as okay. Okay, so but then before returning, we need to add data because this is empty at this point. We want to add data. How will you do that? So we can use a for loop here. So I can say for question Q in questions from DB. So let's get hold on each question. And then every time you will create a new question wrapper object. So I will say question wrapper. I will say this is QW equal to new question wrapper. And then here we have to set the values. Remember in the question wrapper, basically we have a constructor. So I can use that constructor here. So what are the values I have to pass? I have to pass the title. So basically I have to pass the ID first. So where is my question wrapper? Yeah, so I get to pass the ID title and option one, two, three, four. Let's do that quickly. So here let's fetch the ID first, get ID. Then we'll fetch dot get title, then Q dot get option one, then Q dot get option two, then Q dot get option three, comma last one, Q dot get option four. And that's it. Basically we created this object with all those values. And once we got this object, we just have to add this to the list. So I will say question for user dot add, and we are adding this particular question, which is QW. Okay, so basically we were able to convert or we were able to fill this particular question for users with the help of the questions from database. And I think we are good. It looks good. We can call this method and from the controller, we are sending it. It should return data now. I hope everything is set. Let's restart the server. I think it's done. Let's go back to our postman and let's say send. Oh, can you see that we got the questions? Now this is the same thing which we checked earlier, right? Remember ID 18, ID 8, and all these are Java questions. And what you got here is ID, question title, and options. This is what a user will see. Now when user attempt this particular quiz, of course, right, we'll be having a particular UI and you will see one question at a time. And then once a user has entered all the answers, when you click on submit, the data, the answer data goes to the server. And on the question, on the server side, we have to calculate then, okay, the score, and then we have to return. But then we have not done for the calculation, which we'll do in the next video. But basically what we have done here is we were able to get a particular quiz 
with a ID. Okay. Now, once a client has received these questions and the client is answering that, and of course, a client will also send that data to the server. That's where we have to calculate this code. And for that, let's see you in the next video. Bye-bye.